What's going on guys? It's that guy with movies back here again. And uh, welcome to my new series. This is uh, TGWM Rants. Uh, where I just rant about all the stuff that makes me mad. So my uh, debut episode right here is going to be about my dreaded flipper discs. One of the things I hate the most about uh, my DVDs. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. Got a nice uh, stack of movies going right here. Uh, just to demonstrate uh, what kind of uh, thing this is. So we'll just push these off to the side here. Just kind of doing this video while get a like. Just because I can. But um, we're going to start with uh, the first DVD right here. So Warner Brothers used to do this like all the time. Um, and I don't really know why. So here we have uh, Twister as an example. The very first DVD ever made. Um, still has a sticker on that. I'll be doing a rant on that here uh, soon. But um, really, really nice art. I actually do like uh, snap cases. A lot of people don't. But um, I, I like them. I'm not going to do a rant on these. But um, it's still nice. But then if you open it up. Like I said, first TV ever made. What's this? A flipper disc. I hate these things. Why do these exist? I have no idea. But uh, since this is the first uh, DVD ever produced, um, it's just ugh, like so. Um, flipper discs. They uh, they were around for the longest time though. I believe they stopped doing them around 2009-ish, maybe, 2010-ish, and they just started using the, um, just the regular discs, like I'll just, uh, um, I'll just show you an, guys an example, like, here's Sleep of Faith, uh, they just started using, like, that kind of disc, but, um, like, I'm not saying, like, that's, um, that's a newer movie or whatever, but, um, they just started using, like, uh, discs with, uh, art on them. Or at least, as uh, some of them, uh, do. But, uh, that's not really a thing to rant on, but, flipper discs, uh, just are the bane of my existence. Because they have the widescreen side, and then they have the full screen side. Why do these exist? I have no idea. Because if you scratch one side of the disc, you'll lose the widescreen side. If you scratch the widescreen side, you'll lose the full screen side. But I don't really care about the full screen side. So, um, there's Twister. So, I'll give this one a free pass, obviously, because uh, it was it was the first DVD ever made. The rant's already three minutes long, but uh, whatever. Uh, here we got Young Guns, another example. Uh, same thing. Flipper disc, but uh, it's just in a standard uh, Amory case. Um, I think Artisan did these a lot too. So, widescreen, full screen. And these do get decently scratched too if you're not careful with them. And then they have this uh, glass thing in the middle that, uh, like right along here, that um, gets easily fingerprinted if you keep putting, uh, in it, putting it in and out of the uh, case for a while. So. There's that. Here we have another example, uh, John Carpenter's Vampires. Uh, older DVD, uh, I don't know how well you can see that, but... 1998. And we'll just open it up there, and here is another flipper disc. Columbia used to do these all the time with their discs. They never had one disc without um, at least one side of this uh Kind of like the disc material showing. Uh, but they usually had all the DVD guys and everything. So, um, yeah. So, this one obviously had the widescreen and the full screen on it. Now, one other thing I can understand is that um, if you can't fit two features on one disc. Like uh, Omega Doom and Blind Fury. Um, obviously, these are the only kinds of flipper discs that I don't mind. Because uh, you have Line Fury on this side, and then you have Omega Doom on this side, which, um, like, it, like, that's fine. That's fine by me. It's just, I hate them when they just include widescreen and full screen. Obviously, everybody had a full screen TV back then, but, um, I just, I don't like them. And I just kind of refuse to get the new artwork variations. 
And um, just other like double sided discs where you can see the uh, material underneath. Here's Tommy Boy as another example. And I will show you how badly these things can get scratched. I mean, really, look at that. There are so many scratches on this disc. So, so many. I'm actually surprised that this still plays. Obviously, I actually just might replace this here soon. And my last example here, and kind of the end of the rant, is uh, I got Coming to America here. So, here is another example of how badly you can get scratched. There is a line of scratches right there, which I'm actually still surprised that this still plays. And there's actually a whole heap of scratches. Nothing on this side, all on this side. As you can see, right along there, there is a scratch. So, that is basically the uh, end of the rant here. So, um, yeah, I hate these flipper discs. Why do these exist? And just, um, because actually on newer releases of um, movies that actually previously have flipper discs, I think they actually still do them. I don't know why nobody owns a full screen TV anymore. Why are you guys still doing this? Just put disc art on one side of the disc. So, anyways, just be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, and um, Twitter and Instagram links will be in the description down below if you don't follow me on there. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.